Hello and you're watching an SEO content machine tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how you can use existing articles on your hard drive, spruce them up a little bit, add some images or videos and even links. So the first thing is you need a bunch of articles on your hard drive and for today's example I have a bunch of articles here. They're very simple HTML articles with a title and just some content. To get started I'm going to create a new task by clicking on this new article creator button. Then I'm going to scroll down. I don't need the article rewriter today, so I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn on insert into existing articles. I can click on this folder to browse for the location of the article. But as I already have the location available here, I'm going to copy that and paste it into this box. I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to fill out my article keyword. The reason why you want to do this is because it needs a keyword to find an image or a video. For green tea articles, this is the keyword I'm going to use to search for images. Moving on into content inserts, yes you can insert subheadings and lists and the reason why is because going back to article settings, search results limits, I left it at the default 25 so it has some scraped content to work with. Because I want to insert an image, I'm going to go down to the image section, turn that on. Now I'm going to move on to the next section which is custom content. By clicking on this button, I can choose where to insert some additional content into my article. It won't actually work for the body tag and the reason why is because we're not using a article template and it's not technically generating content for me. So I'm going to go to article top, click on the edit button, opens up my text editor. Save this file. Now this content is going to appear at the top of all my articles. Moving on to the next tab is the filtering options. This actually won't be used because we're not generating content. Finally, we can insert links. Once I'm happy with all my settings, I just click on the run button. Once my task has finished running, anytime I select a task in the task list, I can always view a task log of what it's done. And I can see that yes, it has inserted content and disabled article generation. These are the files it was able to read from the folder and this is the save location of the final output. I can browse that output by going and clicking on this green explore article folder button or I can preview the output within the program by clicking on this blue button here. Here's a preview of the article that was processed. Where I selected to insert content at the top of my article, it appears inside the article now. Here's the inserted image and if I keep scrolling I can find the link that I requested to also be inserted. Very simple to set up. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email, info at seocontentmachine.com.